Runners lead. Pitch. There it goes to deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. A tremendous home run by Bobby Abreu in and out of the upper deck in right. El Coma Dulce. That was in 2001. Abreu lines one the other way, and he's got himself a base hit. So in Bobby Abreu's final game, he has himself a hit. Left-handed hitters. Beltran oh. drives it deep right field. That's gone. Home run number 200 for his career for Carlos Beltran. His 38th of the year. That ties his career high. The one-two. That one is drilled deep to right field. Going back, Bautista looking up. See ya. A pinch hit. Three-run home run for Carlos Beltran. A huge blow for the Yankees. And they lead this game four to three. They might have been quicker to call it as well. Lined in the left. Coglin on the run. Won't get it. It's going to go to the wall. Round second is Cano. Headed for third. Coming to the play. Hanley's relay. Not in time. And Barroa lines a base hit in the right center field. Sullivan comes in to score. Played deep in the gap and bobbled out there by Hop. That'll bring home Santos and Barroa goes all the way to third. Four to nothing, New York. 2 2 delivery. Struck him out. There'll be a game five. Four and top of seven. Here comes Armando Benitez to a standing O, oh, something you didn't hear much of at Shea, and he gets Milton Bradley swing. Pitch. He got him. He threw the breaking ball out of the strike zone, and Encarnacion leaves the bases loaded. Oh, what an inning for Dylan Betances. The 32-year-old former Yankee Dylan Betances. 3-2. And Swanson goes down swinging on the breaking ball. Betances went to the breaker on 3-1 and one and on 3-2 and two to get the strikeout. In the top of the first inning, Darrell Boston would belt a solo home run to right field, his eighth home run of the year. RBI number 28 for Boston. This gave New York a 1-0 lead in the top of the second inning record in baseball. Pinch hitter Darryl Boston homered the night before off of David Cohn. Here in the ninth, Yankees down 3-1 and an opposite field drive off of Jeff Montgomery to tie the game at three. Then in the tenth. 1-1 one, one for Vivaldi and he lifts one to deep right center field. Back in the gap, Ellsbury. Back near the wall. It's out of here! Jay Bruce's first has a man as a three High fly ball, deep right field, Santander back on the track. He's at the wall. See ya. Home run, Bruce. That's why they got him. It's 1-0 Yankees. Into left field, and the Yankees are back on top. Cairo, third time on base. Flaherty doesn't run well. They're going to bring him to the plate. The throw by Matsui home. Safe. Phillips bobbled it. And it's a two-run Yankee lead. The lefties usually take it. A blue base hit for Cairo as he dunks it over Walker. The lumbering Piazza is going to try to score. It's cut off by Lee. Piazza in, and it's two to one. Deals. That one's driven deep to right center field. There it goes. See ya. A three-run walk-off home run for Robinson Cano. Robinson Cano mm. flies one out to left field, chasing Peralta back, and he looks up and it's out of here. Robinson Cano on Jackie Robinson Day hits an opposite field home run. And the breaking ball struck him out. He's a guy who stands on top of that dish. Capuano gets him with a high fastball for the active lead, and Capuano strikes him out. And he gets him with a changeup. Swing and a miss. What you should never say is never. Interleague games, interdivisional games, you can win these games. Another Swing one. and a miss. And Goldschmidt goes down on three pitches. High changeup that time from Castro to get him. This will be the eighth pitch from Castro to Arenado. And a foul tip held by McCann, and he got him. That's a good pitch right there. 
change up on three and two at 94 miles an hour. Gave up those inherited runners. Tucker a swing and a miss. Struck him out with a fastball. Tucker is gone. Out number one here in the eighth. Longtime manager with the Padres as well. So congratulations to Boach. Three up, three down. Astros go in order. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Ironically enough, Rick Cerrone would bat in the bottom of the ninth. This ironic because Miller had come in to run for the starting catcher, Charlie O'Brien, in the seventh, and he was thrown out at the plate. Thus, Cerrone comes in to catch, and he has to bat in the bottom of the ninth. His first at bat is a New York Met. Sunday, bottom of the six, Mets up 3-2. Tony Clark crushes one. There goes Albert again. Don't they know? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Not this time. It gets over the wall, gone. A home alone shot. 12th of the year, five RBI for Clark on the day. Watch it again. Mm. Out of his. He's <laughs> only a rookie. Bottom of the eighth, 11 5, one man off for Clark, and Mama did that man again. A two run homer. Oh, they that bad, man. Clark homers from both sides of the plate. That's the first time he's done it since July 24th. Conducive to off speed pitching. That is hit deep to center field. Back at the wall. Clark goes deep again. Another monster home run. Three to one Yankees. Don't throw in the changeup. On one and two. Clark gets into another one to right field. At the wall, it's gone. Two run home run. What a day. What a week he's having today. And it's 8 6 Yankees in the sixth. Joy to be around. These players love playing for him. 2 2 pitch. Broken bat. Pop up. And it's Clipper. Pitchers can catch pop ups. Runners go, 3-2, he struck him out, and the Yankees win 6-4. The Yankees shut down David Ortiz, 0-5 for 5 tonight. And a strikeout for Cologne, number three, with 8 of 10 first pitch strikes. And a strikeout on a 93 mile per hour tailing fastball. For his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one deep left field. That goes up to back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. Deep Dalkowski, the legendary fan, and another strike. 17 strikeouts for David Cole. I think that's for the pitcher. Yeah, he's he got it. outside and got it. Cone has given up only two hits and the pitch in the dirt and he got him and he ties the National League record of 19 strikeouts and if that hadn't been completed at first base. He... Right after it and the second strikeout for David Cone. Inning over. Third strikeout for Cone. To the right side it's foul. Girardi is there. Inning over. David Cohn gets through the frame as Girardi makes the catch. It's a two to one game. Off speed driven deep right field right down the line. That ball is out of here. Ike Davis with his third home run of the game. But Kirby Yates has that number. Pitch is looped in the right field. It's going to be in there for a base hit. The Yankees are going to pick up a run as Ref Snyder scores. The bases will remain loaded, but now it's a 12 to 4 game. As Ike Davis comes through with a broken bat single. That one's driven deep to left field. Going back, Granderson. Track. Wall. See ya. Home run, Drury. A two-run shot. And it's 4-1 Yankees. Drury drives one deep left field. Almonte looks up. It's out of here. Brandon Drury does it again. Just what the Mets were asking for. A pinch hit home run for Drury. Alvaro Espinosa hit an inside the park home run. It's a near great play here by Shane Mack, but he doesn't quite come up with it. And Espinosa goes all the way around the bases for his second home run of the season. That made the score two to one, but Minnesota won by that final. The winner, Guthrie, is three and two. The loser, Robinson, two and six. He takes Doug Creek over the wall. Then the very next batter is Alvaro Espinosa. His third home run is a Met. And hey, Bobby Valentine's won a game. Three 
three, two. Murphy there. And the ball game is over. Kyle Farnsworth gets his first save as a Met, capping off a tremendous performance by the Mets pitching staff tonight. To New York to scout an unhappy and unproductive Tony Fernandez. When we sent Epi Guerrero there, uh, and he saw Tony play for a week. Have to zone in on a hitter, on a pitcher like Oliveras. Hit deep to right field, and back to the wall is Barroa. It is gone, a two-run shot. <laughs> and the Yankees have tied it at four. Here's a 1-1. Fly ball into right. Back at the wall, it's gone. Frazier with a three-run shot. Frazier cracks one to deep left field. Forget it. That is way out of here. Todd Frazier gets the Mets off to a fast start with a grand slam. Little help on the uh, offensive end Great. from Kareem Garcia. The home alone shot. His ninth of the year. Watch him trip over first base. The curse of call. Bottom three. Pedro's favorite player, Kareem Garcia. He goes solo off Tomaoka, and the Mets are up 3 0. Gibson goes down on strikes. And Dwight Good Gooden doing a, a pretty good 1985 invitation tonight. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Marshall. Got him. Again, that's nine strikeouts. Marshall gone twice. Half swing, down he goes. Ten strikeouts for Dwight Gooden after six. Lifted in the air, in the infield. Derek Jeter waiting, waiting. Waiting, makes the catch. A no hitter for Dwight Gooden. Oh. High drive, right field. Marcakis turns, looks. See ya. A home run for Granderson, and the Yankees lead five to one. And Blossom. Fly ball, left field. Hannah back, track, wall, leap, see ya! A home run for Echeverria, and it is 4-1 Yankees. And the breaking ball drilled out to right field. Back goes Castellanos near the wall. It's out of here! A Danny Echeverria with an opposite field three-run homer. His first home run is a New York Mets. The main reasons is that they haven't seen a lot of right-handers, but Ricky Henderson drills it. Deep drive and a leadoff home run for Ricky Henderson. He is now the all-time leader in leadoff home runs. Every team in the, the field this year has really had a great year. Ricky Henderson deep down the left field line into the corner hooking. This one is off the foul pole. Home run. Ricky Henderson, first ball swinging, hits one off the foul pole. You anticipate. And he fans Brett Boone for the second time tonight. You keep your eyes on them the entire ball game. And Perez strikes out for the second time, and that's nine in four and two thirds for Hernandez. An assortment of breaking balls. I'm not so sure Ted Williams <laughs> yeah. would want to run up there, although at least he hits left handed. Oh, Andrew Jones. For the third consecutive at bat, goes down on strikes. Braves finished in last place. They have won their division every year since. As Langerhan goes down on strikes, strikeout number six. Would have to be one of my utility players. Don't bring that up to Kevin Kennedy. Eight innings of the books. Ten for Mets. More volatile than the offensive metrics. That one's driven deep to right field. Mark is back. He's on the track. He's at the wall. Leaps. See ya. A home run for Kelly Johnson. His second as a Yankee. And Johnson whacks one deep to right field. Back goes Warren to the warning track. Looking up. And it's out of here. <laughs> Kelly Johnson ties the game with a pinch hit home run. And he slices this one down the left field line. It'll be at least a two base hit. Over to the play, the ball is McGee, and Johnson goes in with a double. So Lance Johnson doubles.
Two out, runners at first and third. Lance Johnson to start at DH. That's a single. Jorge Posada's coming to score. Johnson goes four for six in this game. Yanks up by a count of three. Swung on and hit the deep center field. A way back. It is high. It is far. It is gone. A grand slam for Ricky Lede. What a way to get back in the lineup. And Lede cranks one to deep right center field. That ball is out of here. Ricky Lede with his first home run of the year. And it's 5-1 to one New York. Lighter did it. He has struck out the side for a second consecutive inning. Al Leiter, the 21-year-old rookie. And up to now, one of the greatest pitching performances ever seen in one of these. And it's caught by Alfonso at second base. And Al Leiter has completed a two-game, a two-hit shutout, and it has put the Mets into the playoffs. On the seat, on speed pitch, got him. Holding Connie looking, buckles at ease, and a strikeout for Corey Lytle. They're gonna get they're gonna get their two hits. And Lytle's got him on the outside corner strike. So Corey Lytle comes out and retires the side in order, including a couple of called. Down of one and two. Ruled on the pitch and strikes out. Second strikeout for Corey Lytle. Swing and a miss. Well, the breaking ball strikes him out. Third strikeout for Corey Lytle, two down. Swing and a miss. Linsky strikes out. That's five strikeouts for Corey Lytle. The de facto commissioner, Chipper Jones, comes up empty. He's the first out here in the seventh inning. Sent Ricky Bonus as a bonus here in 1996. Lloyd has struck out the first two. Can you believe that? Did you see that? <laughs> it was unbelievable. Swing and a miss. He got him. Bob and Ventura fans. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Only one run scores, and the Yankees leave him loaded in the eighth. Hammer to right. Billy McKinney keeps on adding for the Mets with an upper deck shot. His first Mets home run. Team going again. High fly ball, deep right. Did he get all of it? Melendez back on the track at the wall. He got all of it. See ya. A three-run home run. It's 4-3-8. Mets down one nothing. The bases are full for Doug Mankiewicz. Right Who loses one. Oh. Deep fly ball to right. That's a grand slam. The first in his career, part of a seven-run second inning. This is in a time by Doug Mankiewicz up in, off the facade of the top deck. Fourth home run for Mankiewicz in a Yankees uniform. Second home run allowed by Schilling tonight. It's a 6 nothing New York lead. Get a little closer to the plate. And he gets one in the air to deep left field. Back goes Langer, Hines at the wall. It's out of here. And Xavier Nady got all over an off-speed pitch. The wild card winner in the National League. Nady skies one down the right field line, giving chases Drew in the corner. And that ball is gone. See ya. A home run by Xavier Nady right down near the pesky pole. A chopper up the middle. Base hit into center field. Two runs will score. The Mets lead. Three to two. That's into right field. Well hit back at the wall. Olroot is going deep and it's 3-0. Two to Damon and Orozco deals. He struck him out swinging. What a debut for Jesse Orozco. That's exactly why they got him for that situation. Strike three. Adavino is wheeling a nasty slider. The two two. Strike three. Adam Adavino with a nasty slider. Oh two coming. 
He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Adam Adovino puts on the finishing touches. Big night for Pete Alonso with two homers and five RBIs. Six scoreless for Justin Verlander. Hard shot, left side, way back. It is gone. Home run, Rendo. So he joins Carlton and Seaver in that department. High fly ball to deep left, might go. Way back, going, going, gone. Willie Randolph with his first home run as a New York Met. Andy Rogers in a world of hurt. Ron Coomer, sit on it, Potsy. Roberto Kelly, sit on it, Mal. Or sit on it, Bobby, in Roberto's case sometimes. Matt Wallback doesn't want to be a happy day's character, but he still grounds out the third. Rogers escapes the threat. He went eight. The gambler, Kenny Rogers, focused on the batter. Barry Bonds gets him with the high heat. One, two, three inning for Rogers in the first. Top of the third, still scoreless. FP Santangelo. Ground ball up the middle. Rogers showing he can field the position. The flip. And John Olerud helps him out. Top nine. Rogers going for the complete game shutout. Gets Bonds swinging again. Third time he gets Bonds on the day. Nine strikeouts for Rogers. Two outs in the ninth. Rogers facing Ellis Burks. Liner to Robin Ventura to end it. Rogers, the Mets' first complete game shutout of the year. Gets home run. 400. Second deck. Campbell. That one's driven deep to left field. Fair ball, it's gone. It is gone. See ya. A long home run for Gary Sheffield. And the Mets lead 6-3. to three. Pitch. <laughs> it's cut on and miss. <laughs> Here's a 2-2. Struck him out swinging fastball. And the 1-2. Struck him out swinging. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. Matt Joyce. And he struck him out to end the inning. So a nice job by Shreve getting a key out. And Anderson oh. loses the bat, which sails into the dugout. It all fell apart. Cervelli goes down on strikes, and Shreve has had himself quite an outing here. Long drive. Way back. At the wall. God! History of Yankee Stadium on the season's last day. Up. The one two pitch. Swinging a tapper off the first base side. Starts fields. Throws home. Over the head of Posada. The Mets win the game. Matsui slides home with a winning run. Sturts backhanded a throw to the plate and threw it over Posada's. <laughs> From Nelson to Rivera to Stanton. Two out. Well, this is almost unfair. Two perfect innings worked by Stanton. Well, that'll be ignored, and I'll push the lead. <laughs> See, you won't even read that one. No. We are fed pretty well up here. Fast ball right on the inner part of the plate. Helms goes down on strikes. Hit. High drive into deep right field. Evans back at the wall. Gone. Now sends this one high and deep. And gone. The greatest home run hitter Shea Stadium has ever known. It's his 127th career home run here in Flushing. For top two, Ryan Thompson facing William Van Landingham. And Thompson wins this one, his 14th of the year, and the Mets have a one-zip lead. It stayed that way into the eighth. Take advantage. Bottom of the fourth, two runners on. Ryan Thompson just called up from the minors on Thursday, and he comes through. Taking Dempster deep. A three-run homer, 6-2 in favor of the Yanks. A drive to right. Georgia. Gone. A grand slam. Here's the 1 0 to Ventura. Swinging a high fly ball. Deep right center field. Going back is Timo. Onto the warning track. Back at the wall. Jumping. And it's out of here. 
Robin Ventura with a two-run homer in his first game back at Shea Stadium. Comes in, first pitch fastball to Jose, this guy, you know, he goes yard, three to one lead. No back, back, back from you? It was no. just a fair, all right, thank you. Well Wendell sets and the pitch. Swung on line drive, base hit to left field. Here comes Tito, he scores, and the Yankees win the game. A big base hit for Jose Vizcaino. And Walker gets one in the air to right center field, hit well. That goes four into the warning track, back at the wall, it's out of here! Mm. Neil Walker turns the game around, a two-run homer. High fly ball, deep right field, Granderson back, looking up, see ya! Three-run home run for Neil Walker, and the Yankees lead 5-4. to four. Out And the base is empty in the second inning, and Gerald Williams lifts one down the line and into the corner. Mitchell giving chase, and it hits the foul pole screen for a home run. Gerald Williams hitting it right down the line and into the screen. Two. Paul Bird on the mound. Gerald Williams flies away off a of bird his fourth of the year. Williams, what a game. Three hits for him. It's one nothing. But it was tough. Five minutes. Mason Williams hits one deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. A two-run home run. What a way to get your first big league hit. And it's 5-3 O's. <laughs> oh. Mason Williams lofts one deep to right toward Utah Street and out of here. Back-to-back -back home runs. Mason Williams with his first home run as a Met. Young drives one deep left field. Back goes Gardner near the wall. It's out of here! The Mets take the lead. Their fourth home run of the night. Chris Young, a two-run shot. The 0-1. That one is drilled deep to left field. Going back, Joyce. Track, wall. See ya! A three-run walk-off home run. off of Wells just five hits in seven innings Todd Zeal is going to get it back off the former Yank Ted Lilly three knocks for Zeal that's his third homer and we are tied at two exposed as we know them Todd Zeal's last game as well in his last at bat booyah three run shot in his last at bat of his career he hits his 253rd homer